What's going on everyone? Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics are headed to the NBA Finals to play the Golden State Warriors. But beyond that, Jason Tatum just won the Larry Bird MVP for the Eastern Conference Finals and he's only 19 years old. That is unbelievable. And if you know, you know. But on a serious note, I mean, what a fitting way to kind of wrap up this season and the first inaugural year for the Larry Bird Trophy, right? I mean, to have a Boston Celtic, to have a wing like Jason Tatum, who is very reminiscent of Larry Bird and in fact of like shot creation, things like that. Um, it's just amazing how sports and things just pan out that way, right? It, like you see it time and time again in sports. Like it's almost like certain things are meant to be, certain things are meant to happen. And I just feel like this was one of those things, you know, you, you have the first year, Larry Bird trophy and you have a Boston Celtic win it but it's not just any Boston Celtic it's like the face of the Boston Celtics just like Larry Bird was it's a big wing just like Larry Bird was it's a guy that hits like ridiculous shots and is able to take over games and all of this stuff it's just it's remarkable I just it's something that I'm always just so fascinated with when it comes to sports how things just seem to line up perfectly in certain situations and to even further hit on this is, I mean, like, look at the Western Conference. This year was the first year for the Magic Johnson uh, Western Conference MVP. And, and a point guard won it in Steph Curry. I mean, it, and it's crazy because, I mean, yet you, you have these just these links throughout history that just sort of flow into each other. And I'm not saying Magic and Steph are comparable players because they're not. They're very far in a way, opposite players. I mean, for this to be like a perfect match, it would have been like, you know, LeBron James. Like if LeBron James won the the actual Western Conference uh, Magic Johnson trophy, like that would have been just like, wow. Like, you know, you had a Celtics, Lakers. I mean, that would have been like one in a gazillion <laughs> chance of that happening. But it's still, it's still a point guard, uh, the face of the team, uh, a guy that is considered one of the best point guards, if not the best point guard ever uh, in Steph Curry. And you have the same argument for Magic Johnson. It's just, it's, it's just bizarre sometimes how these things work out. But nonetheless, you know, it's a big step for uh, Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics, right? It was like that team that was young, they were good, but they just couldn't get over the hump, right? We've seen it time and time again gotten to the Eastern Conference Finals before, and then finally they're able to break through. And yes, they, they lacked a lot of consistency this year, uh, especially in the playoffs. Uh, they were the hottest team going into the playoffs, right? I mean, going into this into this year, uh, in January of 2022, uh, you know, the Celtics were sub-500, and they just went on a crazy run, and it carried into the playoffs, and they figured it out, and they, you know, meshed well, and they ended up pulling it out, and now they're going to face the Warriors for a chance to win uh, a championship. And they're in their 22nd, 22nd NBA Finals. I mean, that's crazy to me. Um, and again, it's just, it's crazy how all this stuff works out. You know, you're in the year 2022, you got the 22nd uh, Finals appearance from the Boston Celtics. Just all, it's just all these things that really line up. And I do think the Golden State Warriors are going to win the NBA championship. I just think that they're, there's just, they just have too much to handle for the Celtics, as great as the Celtics' defense is. I mean, Miami was getting all kinds of open looks, all series. And their offense is very stale. It's not a free-flowing offense like the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, if you give them, you know, 15 wide-open three-pointers all game long like they did with Miami, Golden State's going to knock down at least half of those. You know, it's just the Golden State, they have three of the best three-point shooters in the league, two of the best all-time and Clay and Steph, right? And now you have Jordan Poole's emergence. Uh, they have, you know, Draymond. They have, uh, you know, Andrew Wiggins has really stepped up and seems to be that guy, once again, the guy that people thought he was. I mean, he completely was taking over games in Dallas. So I just think that there's too many things, too many components. I think that the Warriors, they have bodies that they can throw at Tatum and Brown to just at least make it difficult. And that's what it's all about. I mean, like, even when they were playing against Dallas, it wasn't so much like we're going to stop Luka. It was let's slow, let's at least make it difficult for him. Let's put them in a position. And Boston's offense is very predictable. You know what you're going to get. They get they get the ball to Tatum, they get the ball to Brown, and they try to create and make a shot. It's a lot of isolations, things like that, which is understandable. I mean, they got two tremendous wings 
and Brown and Tatum. So, of course, they're going to want to isolate them, get them the ball, feed them the ball, and let them kind of, you know, do their thing. Um, but, you know, I just I just think that the Warriors have too much on both sides of the ball for Boston and Boston's lack of consistency all playoffs. I mean, we've watched them literally blow games in every round. If you do that to the Warriors, you're going to lose this series, you know, because I do think it'll go six games, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes like five. I think Boston wins at least one game. I think most likely we'll see, you know, the Warriors just have a bad game. Boston wins that one. And I think that you'll have a game where Boston just shoots the lights out or something like that. Or, you know, somebody gets like ridiculously hot, like white or something like that. And, and they end up winning that game. And then ultimately the Warriors will close it out. I think they close it out in six if I'm being honest, I think the Warriors have the experience. They have that pedigree. Um, Boston, they I think they lack a lot of the discipline needed to win a championship. Uh, we see it. I mean, we even saw it with Miami last night, right? I mean, you're up 11 with like a minute and 45 seconds left or something like that and give up an 8-0 run. Like, you know, and then Jimmy Butler even had a chance to take the lead and, you know, however you feel about that shot, it still was an opportunity for him to take the lead and win the game. Uh, so it's just it's stuff like that that I, I just think Boston really lacks consistency in. Um, but it's just, again, it's crazy how things play out. It's crazy how things work out. Um, big congrats to Jason Tatum. I love Jason Tatum. He is a tremendous player. And he's going to be for years to come, right? I mean, he's so young, 19 years old. That is unbelievable. But anyway... <laughs> Again, as always, I pass the question on to you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about him winning the, you know, Larry Bird trophy? Do you think, like, it's weird how things just pan out, how things work out uh, in sports in general? But uh, especially in the NBA, it seems like stuff like this happens all the time. Uh, is it something that, you know, that you think is fascinating too? Or are you just like, ah, it's just life, right? You know, uh, coincidences, circumstances happen. You know, I'm not saying it's like a grand scheme or anything, but it's just, it's weird how things sort of play out uh, in the world of sports. But, and also, what, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win the NBA Finals? You got the Warriors, you got Boston. Uh, who do you think wins between those teams? Um, I definitely, I wouldn't be surprised if Boston wins this. I mean, they're big, they got size, they're talented, they're young. They're fast. I mean, they're they're everything you need to win a championship. I just think that they're they're running into the one team that like you just don't want to play. If I'm being honest, <laughs> um, if you're if you're the Celtics, I think Miami would have likely uh, matched up better. Um, but you know, again, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Uh, so let me know down in the comment section below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Lets me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports from this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.